I've seen divers suffer from shallow water blackout. Less than two hours north of San Francisco sits the rugged Sonoma County coastline, the epicenter of America's abalone fishery. The marine snail is considered a delicacy, and in recent years, demand has led to overfishing and created an estimated $15 million black market industry. Today, the only place in the United States where enthusiasts can dive for abalone is the dangerous stretch of shoreline from north of the Golden Gate to the Oregon border. In my career here, I've seen uh, many different types of uh, injuries and fatalities. Uh, sometimes the water's big. We've seen divers uh, smashed on the rocks, uh, incapable of uh, exiting the water. I've been to shark attacks. I've seen uh, pretty much anything that you can think of uh, in that water. It's illegal to use scuba tanks to hunt for abalone, which means divers are limited by how long they can hold their breath. The commercial fishery was closed in 1997. Recreational divers are limited to three abalone per day and 24 per season for personal consumption only. It's, it's pretty quite cold. cold out there. Yeah. About 52 right now. Not so bad with all the stuff on. But... Actually, here I got an ab stuck to my, uh, stuck to the kayak here so I can show you how we get them off. Here's your ab iron, so you use to get them off the rock. They'll be stuck to the rock just like that, and you just get them underneath pop them off. You, know, you have to make sure they're legal. It's got to be seven inches so you carry your gauge with you and make sure that it's not too small. You know, if, it's, if you got breathing room then it's no good, but that, that's what you want to see right there. It's kind of dark and murky. There's starfish all over and, you know, rocks the size of cars and trucks all over the place and a couple of seals were following me around watching me dive. There's lots easier ways of getting, <laughs> getting a couple pounds of meat. <laughs> A day of abalone diving doesn't always end in laughter. When things go wrong, the Sonoma County Sheriff's Department uses Henry One, a $2.5 million Bell helicopter, to rescue troubled divers. I've seen uh, folks that have been caught in the kelp. I have seen uh, divers suffer from shallow water blackout, just passing out underwater. Uh, we sometimes refer to the rescuer as the tea bag on the end of the line or the dope on the rope. Uh, sometimes it can be a little uh, crazy going into some of the conditions when we have uh, 8 to 15 foot sets coming in, uh, a lot of white water, a lot of pounding rocks, and uh, it can be very, very treacherous. Sometimes rescues become recoveries. In 2007, at least seven people lost their lives while diving for abalone. The sale of uh, illegal uh, wildlife is number three after the sale of uh, illegal weapons and drugs worldwide. So uh, the commercial market of wildlife and abalone is huge. On opening weekend in April 2008, fish and game wardens cite seven divers for taking abalone illegally during the closed hours before sunrise. Uh, for the most part, it's, it's uh, sport divers just getting greedy, but a lot of times when you're just out looking at something like this, it does turn into something big. You know, you, he'll be out there and you think, oh, maybe he'll get three or four or five, and all of a sudden he has a sack of 20. And once it reaches a certain limit, they considered a commercial take, where the fines go up considerably, up to 10000 up ten to $40,000 for taking it commercially. They go for about 80 bucks on the black market, a limited abalone, they can just go down to San Francisco and get 240 bucks right on the street for them. But for the most part, people dive for fun. And sometimes it takes quite an effort to pop it. There, that one wasn't too bad. And this is this is what we're after. But uh, I'm going to wash this one off. I'll get it, get all the slime off, wash my hands, and then it, it goes to the meat slicer here. For the camaraderie, it's. It's great. If you've never done it before, and you're at least an outdoors person, and uh, a little used to the water, it's, it's a great uh, hobby. 